Yeah, I'm not waiting for that intro to finish. What's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 27th of March. It's 2018. And see the pale blue sky where I was actually out in the yard and I had just a t-shirt on because it was so nice out? Well, then these fellas showed up. Look at that. I mean, that's just perfect, isn't it? There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Nice little number six right there. I mean, because why wouldn't it be, right? But there you go. There you go. Nice day. I don't know what that's a picture of. We know what that's a picture of. In that. In that. But take a look at this. My father makes these. These are uh, weather stations. You see what I'm saying? It's got the time right here. It's got the harbor. It tells you what the moon's allegedly doing. It tells you that it's clear out. It tells you that the temperature is 56.1, so forth and so on. This tells you the weather of the, you know, the next six hours. And this shows you the weather directly over your house at this minute. This is tied into three satellite setup things or whatever. And it's an atomic clock. And you can see the weather for the day, what it's going to be like in the afternoon, so forth and so on. So you, you get what this is saying, right? Same time, as you can see same day now i'm outside and that's the sun so according to the local weather facilities you know whoever new center five gets their weather from according to local weather testing scientists or whoever have these satellites up that give you the daily weather like i was just showing you this is what's outside even though they're showing absolutely no cloud cover whatsoever at all one more time, just for clarity, Absol there isn't even a single spot. Now, let me show you. If we've got a little pocket of rain showing up on this map, I can go outside, look in that direction, and see it. That's how accurate these things are. And, you know, look at not a single cloud in the sky, yet you cannot see the sun. That's because they're doing this. They're spraying the atmosphere. That's exactly what this entire website of solar geoengineering research at Harvard University is explaining. They came out first. This is the first time in said in 2017, in the end of 2017, the beginning of 2018, they were going to start. Well, guess what? They started a long time ago. But I said that, I said, when it publicly started, it was going to get absolutely unbelievable. And it has. So according to weather stations, there's no activity in the sky whatsoever. It was a nice, clear spring day, just like it was before these guys showed up and did this. But that's what a solar shield is. That's what it looks like. That is a solar shield. There is a nice, clear blue day up there right now. But we're not allowed to have it because they're going to save us from global warming. Now, bear in mind, these are the same exact scientists that can't actually openly profess their belief in God or not. And they also can't talk about anything other than what Big Bang, evolution, or they lose their job or they lose their funding. And that's an open secret. Everyone knows that. So for people saying, well, science, no, you guys are out of your mind. I've shown you this before. I'll show you this again. This was a long time ago. The guy that started this petition was Obama's science czar at the time. That's a think about this. 30 almost 32,000 scientists in just the United States, 9,000 with PhDs. Think about that divided by 50 states. And now, why don't you hear from these guys? Why isn't this on the news every single day? Because this is the agenda, man. This is the high priest of science. This, as long as this guy and his wife talk about it, and they put a fun little video with happy little charts, America buys it hook, line, and sinker. But listen to what he's saying. Listen to what Ted Turner, listen to what the Georgia Guidestones are saying. Here's annual letter. Melinda and I take the toughest questions we get asked and give our answers. One that's come up for a long time is, as we make the world healthier, is the population going to get so big that feeding everybody and maintaining the environment is going to be impossible? Now, just real quick, let me interject that everything he just said so far is a lie. 
50 years old. I've never organically run into another person on this planet in my life that said something in their life about, wow, the population's too big. You see what I'm saying? And he's also saying that people are, ha are healthier, which is a patently false statement. But he's also got the black and white right in front of you, and he's giving you a little pyramid signature, little sign. Whether you believe that that's a true thing or not, it is. They always do it. I'm just pointing it out. And I digress. Here we can see a chart that looks at the total world population over the last several hundred years. And at first glance, this is a bit scary. We go from less than a billion in 1800, and then three, four, five, six, and 7.4 billion more. I'm not gonna keep playing this jackass, but you understand the whole point of this. I'm gonna leave a list of links in the description so you can listen to all these people that people look up to on the cover of magazines, so forth and so on, talk about how it is they want to kill people. There's not enough room, there's too many of us. And then they say they're going to do things like, well, this. And then they show it to us in paperwork, scientific magazines, and television, where they block out the sun. Well, would you look at that, huh? What a crazy, crazy thing. Too bad someone couldn't actually take a picture or prove it using their own weather satellites to show that they did that today. Or maybe I did. It was a nice pale blue, not a natural blue, pale blue sky when I went out there this morning. And in an hour, these guys showed up. Weather stations showed not a single cloud, not a speck in the sky or outside. Again, and it's gone. Operation Solar Shield, geoengineering, bouncing the sun's rays back into outer space to save humanity. But first, you'll see it on The Simpsons, every time without fail. Richie from Boston, like, share, and subscribe, or don't. Keep sticking your heads in, your, in the sand. I was going to say in your own asses, whatever. But this is going to affect us really fast. And once the 5G is up and it kills off all the bees left on the planet, the first year it's running, just because you have 5G doesn't mean it's up and running yet. The, the grid isn't done. So all those people out there testing to prove that 5G is all good. I'm on 2.4 gigahertz right now on Verizon Fios. It ain't 5G yet, and I'm out.